Hello Windcomers, Terry Gilmore up here in Central Oregon. This movie is for handlers. It's going to show you how to export your bird list from the internet, then open up your Pydex program on your computer, import that file into the Pydex program, you will assign the chips on the birds, and once they are all assigned, then you're going to export that file from Pydex, save it in your downloads folder on your computer. The last step will be to log in back up on the internet to your uh, Win Companion database, and then you will import that file from your computer and upload the e rings to your bird list on the internet. So to start with, we need to get logged into the admin menu. We click Export Pydex. You'll get a warning box you're, that this is going to save in downloads. So you're going to find this uh, file with your birds in it in downloads. I'm going to click OK. And this particular machine, you can't see it down here, but it we did get the open and saved uh, file dialog box. Today in modern browsers you will you will not get that. They changed that about a year ago, and they now just are downloading files directly to downloads, and they don't give you any choice. So we're going to click save. You can just barely see my mouse down there, and now the uh, file has been saved into the downloads folder. So we will go to the desktop and open Pydex. So here we are on the desktop, and I have Pydex open. This particular copy of Pydex already has some data in it, so the first thing we must do is to clean out the data. So we're going to click Administration, Clean Up Database, Yes. And now we have a blank Pydex. There are no uh, birds in Pydex. So now what we want to do is we want to import the file that we created from the Internet into this uh, into Pydex. So I'm going to click Pydex and import and complete backup and we need to go to the um, downloads folder here is the file that we just uh, downloaded I'm gonna open that and you can see it just imported so now if we go to data transfer and we select the club and we select a fancier here's all of our birds without chip IDs. You see these are all zeros. It means none of these birds have been coupled. So our next step then would be to go through the normal coupling process and basically uh, you first have to read your clock out. So you would click this button. I can't read a clock out because I don't own one. I don't have one here. But basically you'd read the clock out. Then you would come over here. You would select each one of the pigeons. As you select them this icon right here would light up your coupling icon. You would click that. You would scan the pigeon chip over the club unit. It'll show up over here on the right, and that bird has been coupled. Okay, once you have coupled all of the birds, you'll know because you'll see the chips. These now, these, this column had zeros in it. It now has chip IDs, so every one of these birds has been uh, done. If we scroll down it, you would, you would see them that they were done. So now what we want to do is we're going to save this file. We're going to export this file out of Pydex to our downloads folder and we're going to put it in a folder inside a downloads called Pydex so that we have a this way uh, we'll have a backup uh, each time that we couple pigeons and they will all just live there in the downloads folder in the in the Pydex well, inside, inside downloads we'll have a Pydex folder. So I'm going to click Pydex this time I'm going to click export and complete backup and it's going to take us here took us to downloads here's our Pydex folder and if you didn't have one here in your downloads folder you would create it by you would simply do a right click and new and folder you'd click that and then that would put the new folder here and you would uh, change the folder name to uh, Pydex Okay, so we're going to change, and we would also name this. We're going to call it um, Gold 35. 
and I'm going to click save and now now we have taken this bird list with all the chips on it and saved it into our folder inside of the downloads folder and remember every all operating systems are going to be the same we're going to just use the download folder to uh, bring our files down from the internet and we're also going to save them there inside of a, a folder inside the downloads folder and that we will upload the upload them from there and okay we've saved the file out of Pydex we exported it to our downloads folder on the computer and now we've gotten back to our admin screen uh, at our database and win companion and then this time we're going to click on the import Pydex we're going to browse and this this could say um, browse or or um, I forget there's another name you'll see instead of browse but at any rate so from there then we've got to um, find our folder and it's going to be inside of downloads and it's going to be inside this Pydex file and here it is our gold35.pib and I'm going to click open and then I click the button that says upload file now the file has been successfully uploaded so now we've just got to update the bird list I'm going to upload the bird list and you can't see it but in the upper left corner it would tell you that the bird list has been uploaded okay now the very last step once we have uploaded those chip IDs to the internet then we want to just double check our work so we'll click on list under birds and look over here to the right where it says e-rings and you can see e-rings have been assigned to all the pigeons so it has been a success okay and so if you need a refresher on what we've talked about in this movie you can go to wincompanion.com up here on the menu you're going to click on FAQs and FAQ number nine is how do I save my bird list from Win Companion to the benzene Pydex program and here pretty much we go through all the steps we're going to uh, click on export Pydex so so basically we're taking our bird list from the internet down to the computer and going to save in the downloads folder then we're going to go to Pydex and the first thing we're going to open Pydex first thing we're going to do is clean up the database because we want to empty everything out so that's you click on administration clean up database and then click yes the the um, next step is to uh, click on Pydex import complete backup and go to the file where you've saved it in your downloads folder select it and just click OK and it will bring the file into Pydex without the e-rings so you'll have the, just the zeros on the e-rings then after you have assigned all of the e-rings you'll see that they're all assigned here on the right side after you have coupled each bird individually and then this time we're going to do Pydex export complete backup and that's going to create the, the file that we are going to save in the downloads folder and inside of the download folder we're going to put a file called Pydex and we're going to put this file in that folder and we'll save it with a current name I would put on there like uh, the name of the race and the number of birds so that uh, that'll just kind of help you keep track of them and you can just leave those files there as backups in case something should ever happen to your clock or should happen to your your copy of Pydex all right then once you've got that file saved you go back to the internet and you click on upload Pydex and that will take you to this screen where you're going to choose the file or you're going to browse for the file and you go to your downloads folder into that Pydex folder and there will be the the copy of the .pib file that you just saved there from Pydex the next step will be to click upload file and that'll bring you to a screen and it'll say uh, that you had uploaded the file successfully and you need to upload the bird list e-rings 
So you'll click this button and that'll put the e-rings on the birds on the internet. And the last step to double check your work, then you're going to go underneath birds on the admin menu to bird list and look over here in the e-ring column and you'll see that the e-rings have all been imported. Okay, it should do it.